Okay, right here is a 2017 Caterpillar 6015B. The 6015B was introduced by Caterpillar in late November 2015 and is based largely on the proven design and structure of the older 5110B model. Currently available from Caterpillar only in backhoe configuration, the 6015B is designed to swing a bucket ranging from 7.5 to 11 cubic yard capacity. An optional 13.5 cubic yard bucket is also offered for this excavator for coal loading purposes. The 6015B is available from Caterpillar with either 28 inch, 36 inch, or 39 inch crawler shoes depending on the type of ground surfaces that this machine will be working on. The undercarriage on the 6015B features Caterpillar's positive pin retention sealed and lubricated track pins which resist end play generation and link movement on the pins thus preventing pin fatigue and crack formation and also controls the seal motion for long-term internal pin and bushing wear. An optional full track guard is also available for this machine to increase protection on the bottom rollers. Right here you can see where the final drive and travel motor is located. One on each crawler frame and this is what will propel each individual track. This machine has two travel speeds. 1.4 miles per hour at low travel speed and 2.1 miles per hour at high travel speed. To help give you an idea of the size of a 6015B, this excavator measures 15 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the engine house and 24 feet 8 inches wide. Now let's go up top. Here you can see the access ladder and hand railings which provide safe access for the operator or mechanics to board the excavator. An optional hydraulically powered boarding ladder is also offered for the 6015B depending on what the customer prefers. Okay, let's go and take a look at the powering system on this excavator first. Here you can get a good view of the hydraulic pumps on the 6015B. This machine utilizes four variable displacement swash plate hydraulic pumps, which include three main pumps developing a total of 407 GPM to power the front attachment and one swing pump developing 127 GPM. 
The system features Caterpillar's proportional priority pressure compensating technology, which ensures that hydraulic flow is proportional according to demand, allowing all functions to be prioritized during simultaneous operations. This results in reduced heat buildup and component wear and also provides for smooth operation. Through this compartment is the engine room. Let's go inside and check it out. Right here you can see the Caterpillar engine that powers the 6015B, which is a model C27 that features ACERT technology, which allows this machine to meet either Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 4 emission regulations. The ACERT technology does this by lowering temperatures at the combustion point in the engine, and also by regulating the injection timing based on engine load and speed for optimum performance. This V12 diesel engine develops 746 horsepower at 1800 RPM for this machine. Mounted on the right side of this machine, next to the boom, is the hydraulic oil cooling unit, which you can see right there. The 6015B features an independent oil cooling system, which is completely separate from engine cooling. This provides cooling on demand and optimum hydraulic oil temperature. This machine also features a newly designed filtration system with a separate kidney loop which provides continuous filtration and optimum oil cleanliness at all times in conjunction with a standard high pressure and return oil filtration system. From up here you can get a good overview of the top deck of a 6015B. Here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. And if you look down below where the boom pins, you can see one of the swing motors. The 6015B features a closed loop swing circuit utilizing two compact planetary transmissions with axial piston motors which use kinetic energy captured during swing motion to drive the main and auxiliary pumps, thus saving energy during deceleration due to hydrostatic braking from pump displacement controls. Mounted on the left side of this excavator, directly behind the operator's cab, is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, which holds 449 gallons of fuel. And mounted on the right side of this excavator, behind the hydraulic cooling unit, is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which holds 253 gallons of oil. And if you look on the top of the tank, you can see the ports to access all of the return line filters, which provides for easy service. And here you can see all of the hydraulic hoses that run out to power the excavator attachment in the front. Inside of this compartment, you can get another good view of the Caterpillar C27 diesel engine. Wide access walkways are a standard safety feature on the 6015B.
Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here, you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 6015B. Okay, let's take a look at what some of these controls do. These two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat on the floor control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. And off to the right and left sides of the travel foot pedals, you can see two foot rests. The two electro hydraulic joysticks that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment in the front. Here you can see the 7 inch LCD touch screen, which incorporates Caterpillar's vital information management system, which allows the operator to connect directly to the machine to access sensor and system information. The 6015B is also available with either Caterpillar's product link system, which allows the operator to track utilization, fuel usage, payload summaries, and other information remotely, and also Caterpillar's MindStar system, which allows the operator to manage terrain, track materials, perform real-time fleet management, and monitor the machine's health systems. This machine also incorporates a boom float feature, which increases fuel savings by regenerating boom oil for reduced engine demand. And back here off to the right control console, you can see the ignition key, the emergency shutoff switch, and other switches to control other various functions on this excavator. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were operating a 6015B. From back here, you can get another good view of the undercarriage and superstructure on the 6015B. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, CAT. And the overall operating weight of a 6015B is 154 tons. But there she is, a brand new 2017 Caterpillar 6015B.